Well, hello there, students. Uh, welcome back for just a real quick video where I will explain uh, the Lewis dot structure, or as it was called in your gizmo, the electron dot diagram. This is a really quick way to show those outermost electrons, which as we will discuss, you will see they are the most important electrons. So let's get on into it. Here we have our pen game for potassium. We've got an atomic mass of 39 and we have an atomic number of 19. So that means we have 19 protons as we've discussed before. We take 39 minus 19, that gives us 20 sweet neutrons. That's what's in our nucleus. And then if we lay out our Bohr model, again, we've got two electrons in our first shell, then eight in our next shell. And then that puts us up to 10. We have eight more in the third shell, puts us up to 18. And we have one more left over in the outermost shell. This outermost shell, this is what is called the valence electron shell. So the electrons out here are our valence electrons. When you draw the Lewis dot structure or the Lewis dot diagram or the electron dot diagram, as you did in the gizmo, you'll notice that only this outermost electron is the one that really matters. Let's go ahead and look at another diagram. So if we're going to take our Bohr models and use them to make some Lewis dot diagrams, it's actually super easy. All you have to do is look at the outermost electron shell, those valence electrons. So for example, here's my friend and yours, lithium, my favorite element, children. And we just take that outermost electron, we slap the atomic symbol next to it, and boom, you're done. Lewis dot structure, electron dot diagram. It really is that easy. Here we have fluorine. Once you have figured out your Bohr model for fluorine, you'll notice we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons. We take all those seven, we put them around fluorine the symbol, the F. Notice we're not adding any of the other numbers like the mass or the atomic number. And notice also we put two on each side. We got two here, two here, two here, and then the last one's down there. Now, which side gets the last one uh, is up to you as long as you don't like just draw more than two on each side. See so how two, four, six, seven. Keep in mind that the, the shell will be full when it has eight. Next, we look at aluminum. Aluminum's pretty easy. We have 13 protons. We have 13 electrons. So we have two and then eight. And then our outer shell has three. So we take our three valence electrons. We draw the symbol. And there we go. We have the Lewis dot structure for aluminum. As you can see here, lithium, fluorine, aluminum for each of these we are only showing the valence electrons because those are the most important electrons when we come here to the next slide it's showing the periodic table again and like you probably saw when you were filling out the gizmo there's actually a pattern here so all the elements in this first family this first column here including my friend and yours lithium there it is lithium have one valence electron so either in the first column they've got one valence electron so the Lewis dot structure will have one dot here in our second family all of these elements have two valence electrons so everyone in the second column you'll just draw their symbol and two dots on one of the sides these in the middle are our transition elements and they get weird so we'll We'll come back to those at a later time, but you're basically going to have to play the pen game and do a Bohr model to figure out all their valence electrons because they're, they're tricksy. But look over here. So we skipped over to our 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, and 18th column. This is actually called the 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th family because, again, it tells you how many valence electrons are in that outermost shell. Everyone in column 13, that's the third family, they have three valence electrons. Everyone in this fourth family, the 14th column, they have four valence electrons. Now remember, eight is what makes them full, so these ones are extra special and super crucial. We're going to talk about them a lot this year. Everyone in the 15th column, that's the fifth family, those have five valence electrons. You see where we're going with this. The 16th 
column over here, that is the sixth family. Those have six valence electrons, six valence electrons. And over here in the 17th, this is our seventh family or family seven, the halogens. And they have seven valence electrons. Yay, seven valence electrons. Our eighth family here, these are called the noble gases. We'll talk more about that later. But you should know that these all have a full outer shell, and that is eight. Eight electrons in their outermost shell. Full shell. The reason why we need to care about these outermost electrons in these Lewis dot structures is because those valence electrons, those are going to determine how these elements will interact with other elements, what kind of reactions they do, what kind of compounds and molecules they can make. Basically, the valence electrons are responsible for all of how chemistry works. So these are going to be carrying us through our next couple units and the Lewis dot structures are going to be super duper helpful. Thanks for watching, everybody.